Okay, so my makeup is complete and I'm kind of happy with it. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but I didn't have the palette I thought I had. So now that my makeup's done, it's time to get dressed. I'm going to do that magical thing that vloggers do in their videos, or at least I'm going to try. So, and here it is. You can't really see the whole outfit. I have a bright orange shirt, some shorts with palm trees on them, and library socks which you can't really see pride shoes that I made with one of my friends from work it has the buy flag on it as well as the pride flag and buy flag on the bottom we have the bottoms it's female male whichever going all around both sides we have a bisexuality symbol on there and I did the laces as well and then it's just sunshines on the front. My buy flag to wear as well. Oh, I finally made it to a video. Yeah, finally. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to vlog Pride. I think that would be fun. Yes. Going to the Pride Parade was the epitome of celebrating Pride to me. Last year, when I finally came out to my parents as being bisexual, I finally felt able to celebrate Pride. It was also around this time that I started making some friends that were a part of the community. For the first time, I was excited to go to Pride Parade. So when I was unable to go because I had to work, I became kind of depressed. I remember being very annoyed that day and hating everything about being at work. That's why I made it my mission to attend this year. I was going, even if it was the last thing I did. It also made this year's parade even more important because I had to wait all year for it and I knew how it made me feel not to be able to go. And I had such a good time seeing how big it was and apparently this is the biggest year they've had, which was really cool because it was really, really, really massive. I loved every minute of it and I cannot wait to go again next year.